What is going on everyone? Today we're going to be talking about Decred, so a little bit about it and what it is, and also a price prediction towards the end, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And as always, make sure to check out my website, safesakingguy.com, linked in the description below. It's the best place for you to find the best rates that you could be receiving on your digital assets. And of course, all the sources that I'm going to be reading from in this video, I'm going to link in the description as well, so make sure to check those out. So as you can see here on CoinMarketCap, you can see here that the top rising coin right now is actually Decred. Now, what's actually really interesting and one of the points as to why I'm making this video is because recently I actually bought it on KuCoin. I bought a couple Decred, a DCR on KuCoin. And you know, usually there's always that joke when you're buying a cryptocurrency that right as you buy it, it happens to dip even further. The interesting thing was, is that I actually bought this one and it rose 45%. And I thought that was fairly interesting and probably maybe a point for uh, other people to also look into. And maybe more people want to hear about Decred and a little bit about it. And so I figured, well, I might as well just make this video as well. So of course I'm making this video after it pumped and I was already buying it, but I figured because there has been this 45% pump actually in the past seven days that maybe more people want to hear about Decred. So I just figured I might as well make this video. So let's get started on what Decred is a little bit about it. So Decred is a cryptocurrency based on an early Bitcoin blockchain fork. Decred got its start in 2013 in a Bitcoin talk thread about creating an altcoin. A white paper describing a new cryptocurrency called Memcoin2 was published shortly after the discussion and it was picked up by a company named Company Zero and launched in 2016 as Decred. Decred uses a hybrid model of proof of work and proof of stake consensus mechanisms to secure its blockchain. Blockchain. Decred is a cryptocurrency and blockchain designed to develop technology for the public benefit with a primary focus on cryptocurrency technology and it was intended to decentralize its governance by allowing the community to vote for changes rather than only a team of developers who decide which direction a cryptocurrency can take. And this is actually why I'm quite bullish on it as well. This is just one of the points is because it's actually very decentralized. So people can essentially vote for you know which way the blockchain is actually going to go and in most cases with most blockchains, they're actually pretty centralized if you actually realize that, you know, in most cases, it's really just up to the developers to decide on which way, you know, the blockchain is actually going to go and which way the project is going to go, especially after attacks, hacks, and things like that. You know, in most cases, it's only the developer or the founder who is going to decide that. So it's actually quite centralized. But in this case with Decred, it's not. It's very decentralized. Now, Decred has evolved since its introduction in 2016 and in 2017 the blockchain was adapted to allow for atomic swaps, the ability for cryptocurrencies from different blockchains to be swapped or traded by users, and this was significant because it allowed cryptocurrency users to exchange tokens without using a third-party exchange. In 2019, Decred implemented the Lightning Network on its mainnet to add smart contracts and off-chain transactions to its arsenal of blockchain tools. The Lightning Network then allowed Decred developers to create the Decred Decentralized Exchange, or DEX, which allowed Decredation, Decred's wallet, wallet to become the interface that allowed users to exchange tokens without a trusted third party. In October of 2020, the Decred DEX launched, allowing for its first trades between DCR and BTC without an exchange facilitating the trade. So how is Decred different from Bitcoin? While Decred is a Bitcoin fork, it is significantly different in many aspects. And some of the key differences include a community involvement, a community governance, a hybrid of two consensus algorithms, and a different different reward system. So the developers behind Decred believe that cryptocurrency is supposed to be fully decentralized so that anyone can be interested or has a stake should be able to influence how it's developed. Therefore, users are actually encouraged to propose changes and become involved in the development in whatever way they can contribute. And to this end, DCR holders can stake their coins to acquire tickets that allow them to vote on changes to the blockchain. The Decred Decentralized Autonomous Organization or DAO budget consensus rules and blockchain approvals. So this approach ensures that no entity controls the cryptocurrency unless they are involved. And this is commonly called proof of activity consensus. So let's talk about the hybrid mechanisms. One of the most notable attributes to Decred is that it uses a proof of work and proof of stake consensus. Decred's proof of work consensus works virtually the same way as Bitcoin's. Miners process network transactions to open new blocks for the blockchain. The miner receives the transaction fees and the block reward when a block is opened. Coin holders can stake their coins to be 
from voters and voters called stakeholders can purchase tickets to cast votes for block approval or for other governance issues. Multiple tickets can be bought and used and tickets are mined into a block at random increments of 20 tickets. The tickets only last around 20 hours while waiting for a vote from the ticket holders and stakeholders must join a voting service provider or VSP which casts votes on behalf of the ticket holders. And because Decred is an incentive based cryptocurrency that uses proof for consensus, it has a reward system similar to that of Bitcoin and Ethereum. And the key difference for Decred is that because it uses two consensus mechanisms, it rewards network participants differently. So miners whose job it is to process transactions receive 60% of the block reward and stakeholders receive 30% of the reward. And the remaining 10% is sent back to the project's treasury fund for development. And let's talk about the security. So Decred employs an innovative hybrid proof of work and proof of stake system that layers security and carefully aligns incentives. And the system yields the best of both worlds, making it an order of magnitude more expensive to attack than pure proof of work or pure proof of stake systems. And it's also adaptable. So Decred's built-in governance systems empower its community with formal rights to make consensus changes and manage project level decisions. And these systems make Decred adaptable, allowing it to evolve per the will of the stakeholders and resist forks and incorporate new technology over the long run. It's also sustainable, so Decred continuously funds its treasury with 10% of each block reward and employs a flexible contract model that allows contributors to receive compensation for their work. And this makes Decred a sustainable and self-funded decentralized autonomous organization. So Decred's unique selling point is that it's actually solved or is in the process of solving almost every problem that is actually caused or will cause bottlenecks for other coins. So has another coin solved hash power centralization? Well, Decred has, and users have on-chain power and can punish misbehaving miners by stripping their subsidy. And this makes Decred the only 51% attack resistant coin that you know I'm even aware of that most people probably are even aware of as well. How are decisions made with other coin projects? What happens if their Vitalik gets hit by a bus? Decred has been the only project with a binding on-chain vote for almost an entire year now. So how are developers of other coins compensated? Do they have to rely on donations to work and which may bias their attitude? Do they get a lump sum of money up front and then ride their Lambos into the sunset before the project is finished? Decred has a project subsidy built into the block rewards that the stakeholders decide how to spend on development, marketing, or whatever else they want. Instead of thinking in the blockchain for X mindset, get paranoid and think about robust security. Think of every possible way a project could fail or go wrong. The winning projects aren't going to be the ones that rush out flashy features that may or may not have a real world need. They need to be cockroaches of crypto and Decred is the ultimate survivor. So that's a, that's a pretty great quote, isn't it? So that's kind of why I'm actually quite bullish on Decred. Very interesting project and to see its price action is also quite interesting. Let's take a look at some price predictions and see where the price could go if we compare it to other projects. Now, first, I also want to just kind of mention this is that, you know, of course, everything is down, you know, pretty bad, right? If we actually take a look at this. But if you take a look here, you know, back in 2016, it was trading around $1.50. And then, you know, it actually rose to this all time high here, this local top at around, let's see here, around $112. Now that actually looks quite small given up to the 21 uh, bull market that we had here. And actually back in April, we saw prices of around $214, around, two, you know, around the $200 range. And then it actually fell back down and then went back up to around $170. So quite up a lot. Now it's fallen, of course, quite a lot since then. And let's take a look at that here. So let's just simply measure this here. So over the course of from this all time high of around $246, right where it peaked to, you know, right now where it is, you know, it's been around 471 days. And it's down around 81%. And previously, just a week ago is down 88%. But right now, it's back up to around 82%. So it's down quite a lot. Now, do I think it's going to surpass its previous all time high? I do. Now let's let's do a little bit of a comparison and see, you know, where this can go. 
go. So if Decred actually had the same market cap as a Bitcoin of $442.6 billion, then one DCR would be worth $31,000. So an upside of 762X, quite a lot. So let's take a look a little bit further here and see, let's just see, you know, at which project right now would it have to go up to, to hit its previous all time high. So it looks like it's going to be around the chain link to the cosmos. Uh, so in, in that range, and that would be up around 533% to get it to a price of $257. So just a little bit above its total all time high. Now let's take a little bit further here. If we actually went to, for example, Polygon, that would be $477 or an upside of 11 an X if it went to that market capitalization of 6.8 billion. And it actually, if it went to the same of Polkadot, that'd be $686 or 16 X. If we even went further here, if it went to, for example, uh, BNB, it would be $3,600 or an upside of 89 X. And then if it went to, for example, Ethereum, that'd be $14.4 thousand dollars. What do you guys think about Decred? Where do you think the price is going to go? I'm so bullish on Decred and I think that during the next bull run, I think Decred is going to have an amazing rally. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you like this video, do me a favor by minting me a subscription down below. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.